YouTube, it's Bay, and for today's video, I have this lovely little gen to produce in the shop, and I'm gonna be performing a HV transaxle fluid service. Yeah, Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, so that's what I'm showing you to do. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, tools you're gonna need for this job, pretty simple, just a 24 millimeter socket on a long-handled ratchet, save a little leverage. And then this is just an Allen key and it's a number 10. So 10 millimeter Allen key, 24 millimeter socket, and here we have our fluid. This is Toyota Genuine ATFWS, and you're gonna need about four of them. And then I have this lovely little fluid transfer pump. This is awesome, I'll link it in the description. Um, I just, I love using this thing, but it's just because I do this service so many times that I use it. You can just use a regular hand pump, which is gonna take you a little bit longer. And lastly, I have this little crush washer assortment because I, yeah, it's a lot easier and cheaper this way to buy them in bulk than get them from the dealership, but we're gonna be replacing the drain plug washers as soon as we're done with this job, so. Oh, and I almost forgot, you should have a torque wrench. You should definitely, definitely always have a torque wrench. All right, let's get to it. There's quite a few different plugs going on. We actually have three, right? One, two, and then three is up there. So what the heck? Um, so this one right here is actually to drain the coolant. And you can see, it looks like the coolant has been drained before. There's a little bit of pink residue around it. And then this one is to drain the hybrid transaxle. And then this one up here is our fill plug. So I'm gonna start by loosening the fill plug first. This would really be awful uh, if we drained all the fluid out. And then this was seized or this was cross-threaded or like something happened and I wasn't able to get this one undone. So I'll always start by doing this one first, then draining. And we're just gonna drain all the fluid out into my oil catch pan. And it's actually hard to see because the, the plug is behind uh, these hoses and it's actually sitting in this little recess right here. But you'll be able to get the idea that I'm putting my 24 millimeter socket on there to lefty loosey and shouldn't be too tight, but you never know with some people. The way that you check the hybrid transaxle fluid is actually just by, whoa, and that is over full. Look at that, that is, that is over full. Well, it's a, supposed to be just barely, barely seeping out of there. Uh, and you can also see the color of the old fluid. Check that out. Look how the color of that fluid is really dark. You can still see this is not in bad shape. It still has a nice reddish tint to it. And that's because this particular customer is really good about servicing their transmission fluid. And this customer actually does it every 30,000 miles. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, next I've got my 10 millimeter Allen key on a, well, it's a, it's a socket, <laughs> obviously. Oh God, that one's a little tighter. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, here's some fun stuff. Here is obviously the fill plug. And look at the drain plug. It has a whole mountain of metallic magnetic mess on there because that is a magnetic drain plug. So I'm gonna be cleaning that off really well before I put that back in. And then you can see here are my two old washers and here are my two new washers. And those were here in my kit. So they are 18 by 24. If you just wanna go ahead and order two of these. Uh, yeah, so all right, I'm gonna clean these up and get these installed back in there. So there's the drain plug after it's been cleaned. There you can see the magnet a little bit better. And there's my new crush washer. See how it fits on there all nice, not too tight, not too loose. And now that my transaxle fluid is done draining out, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in and torque it to specification. The specification is 29 foot-pounds. So I set my torque wrench to 29 foot-pounds. So here we go. So the fluid is pretty much slowed to a trickle right now, so we'll say it's safe to put this back in, uh, especially with the fluid being relatively clean. So go ahead and thread that in by hand. Got my 10 millimeter and socket on here and all right, 29 foot pounds. For the fluid, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I always keep this in a little tank or like a little pool, I don't know, because inevitably some is just gonna spill and there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the top of it and just put all four quarts of the WS right into this container and I should, let you know now that there is only one sort of fluid that ever goes into here, and it's WS. You can see the hole now. What you can't see is below me. I've got my drain tan, so if I drip anything, 
nothing bad is gonna happen. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that right in there and just pump until it comes out. And then when it starts to overflow, there's a little bit of a stopper on this hose, but obviously I'm filming so I didn't get to it fast enough, but you're able to see now how right as soon as we got to about four quarts, it started coming out. So that's when we know that we're done. I will let it trickle until it stops, and then I know <laughs> that it is at the perfect level for what Toyota wants. Okay, so now that it has slowed to just a trickle, I'm gonna go ahead and install this, and this torque spec is the same. It's also 29 foot-pounds. So, get that guy in there like that. Okay, 29 foot pounds. All right, there we go. Brake parts cleaner. And voila, that's literally it. Now I'm gonna take it for a test drive and we call that a day. See how easy that is? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up and leave me a positive comment or something like that. Or don't, I don't know, it doesn't matter. See you in my next video, bye. Wipe down, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's windy in here, okay, folks? It's windy. That's what's the problem, I swear. <laughs> started coming out. So that's Oops. <laughs> and 29 foot pounds. Oh, my God.